Um, so out of the 350 silicotics in the camp, so in the porcupine mining camps, only 65 were selected as suitable from an x-ray standpoint, and of these, not more than 20 some were selected for treatment due to the fact that some were foreigners who did not appear to have a sufficiently high grade of intelligence to carry out the tests, and others were of a non-cooperative type. That's what you're dealing with. These were lung function tests. They're basically saying they're too stupid to breathe. Really. Um, yeah, I was a little disgusted when I found that one. Um, so here's what they did. The conclusion was arrived at that by careful study of the x-ray films of each individual case, it could be ascertained whether a particular man would respond to the treatment by aluminum therapy or not, i.e., it was felt that those cases showing a fuzzy snowflake appearance would respond much more rapidly than one with the BB shot appearance with clear-cut outline of the nodules. It was thought that the fuzzy appearance was due to an inflammatory type of reaction caused by the chemical action of the silica, and that the neutralizing of this chemical action by aluminum would act in a beneficial manner. The two cases, so two out of the ten didn't respond well. The two cases which did not respond were shown to have a more or less discrete clear-cut nodulation. It was agreed that this clinic should carry on with the rigid selection of cases for treatment due to the fact that if one case went bad, whether or not it was due to the aluminum, sorry, whether it was due to aluminum treatment or not, the method would be discre discredited. After a sufficient number of cases had been treated and the method proven beyond all doubt, and it could be definitely shown that the inhalation of aluminum had no harmful effects whatever, then the rigid selection of cases could be relaxed somewhat and the treatment of complicated cases undertaken. So they were specifically selecting these people to sh show favorable results based on x-ray. That is not a randomized study. That is not um, how scientific studies are done. The group were unanimous in the conclusion that the treatment of the 10 cases presented had shown remarkable results and that it was only necessary to treat more cases before the treatment of silicotics by the inhalation of aluminum powder would be accepted without question. That's what I'm dealing with. Um, they actually, the two who, who didn't do well, they wanted to give them carbon dioxide in with their aluminum treatments because they knew that carbon dioxide would compromise the lung a little bit more and would allow, they, they theorized that it would allow the aluminum to get, the aluminum dust to get in there more and that they would actually show favorable results. They were going to try to do that. So keep in mind the ventilation thing and keep in mind the carbon dioxide thing because what happened when they actually rolled this out was they put it into places and they had schematics on how to make these chambers or the mining dries airtight and they stopped all ventilation during this. So you have a group of miners, um, you know, 20, 30, whoever could fit in there before their shift, breathing in this stuff in an enclosed environment, breathing in each other's, when you inhale, you're inhaling oxygen, when you're exhaling, you're exhaling carbon dioxide. You're compromising lungs before they go down into the mines. Think about that for uranium miners who are down in high silica content. So in, in Elliott Lake, um, the mines down there, the silica content's about 70%. It was, uh, I think, less than half of that, 30 or 40% up in the Timmins mines. So when they introduced this stuff into Elliott Lake, they started seeing silicosis cases six to eight years after, not the 25 or 30 years. Um, they kept records of them, uh, they meaning the McIntyre Research Foundation, kept records on these cases. Um, I've been through the archives, I've seen the cases. There's uh, 72, I believe, from Elliott Lake that they kept um, case records on because they were trying to, it, it flew in the face of the whole program. They're saying that we can prevent silicosis by breathing in this stuff, and it completely flew in the face of that. Um, so they kept stats on them, and they were trying to sort of justify, explain away why, even though these people are breathing in this uh, aluminum dust that's supposed to be your protectant, why they were showing up with, with silica, with silicosis. Um, so very, very interesting.